Welcome to the Saturday Gang video report for the 20th of October 2012. This week we will show you the completion of a day's work from start to finish. At the beginning of the day, the volunteers enter the works office and browse through the relevant paperwork to see what jobs are required to be done. The volunteers must then read the file for locomotive number 23 the subject of most of the day's maintenance. But before the work can begin, it is necessary to take a look at the not to be moved system. Every person in the locomotive department must have their own name tag like this one. They are held on this yellow wall. The not to be moved system is a vital safety measure whenever working on locomotives and especially when working outdoors, as we will be today. When shunts are taking place, drivers need to know who is working on what locomotive at any given time. And so before work begins on a locomotive, each volunteer must take his tag and attach it to a large not to be moved board like this one. The not to be moved board is hung out on the end of the line of stationary locomotives for the driver to plainly see. And now we see the name tags being attached to the not to be move board. We all know who's working on these locos now. And so the work can start. And here we see a volunteer carefully dismantling the flange lubricators on number 23. The components are carefully taken out piece by piece and individually cleaned and examine for any faults. Each piece is placed carefully in order on this tray, ready to be put back in once the volunteer has finished giving the flange lubricator a good clean. Whilst underneath the locomotive, two volunteers are hard at work cleaning down the spring hangers with the use of a scraper and some oil. This is to keep it lubricated and free from any dust while the locomotive is left for a long time. Meanwhile, of course, there is lots of other work going on in the shed. This volunteer is re-tapping nuts, presumably to be reused on the number 376, our Norwegian locomotive. Also here, a fusible plug from our number 3 Terrier locomotive, Bogu, could be seen receiving some preparation for a future washout. And here we have a sideways glance of a volunteer making a new name tag for the not to be moved system. Back out on number 23, we can see this newly threaded washout plug being applied with graphite grease. Along with all the other washout plugs in the smoke box, it is now being loosely reinserted into its rightful place in preparation for when it can be securely tightened. and at long last the flange lubricators are ready to be reassembled. The spring is inserted as this prevents the sticks from fouling or shattering while the locomotive is in motion. While the volunteer holds it in place, he carefully screws it back in. This will keep the entire mechanism securely maintained and fit for service. With all four of the flange lubricators put back together, there is one final thing which needs to be done before the job can be considered truly complete. The volunteers must write a brief report to the management regarding the task and then sign it off as complete. So there you have a whole job from its beginning to its completion in a single day. That concludes this week's Saturday Gang Report. Thank you for watching.